Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you today how to make an easy to make game call lantern. This game call right here is the Loman Mr. Mr. B's whistle it's for squirrels. It's just a squirrel whistle. The thing is, when I ordered this, it was supposed to come with the lanyard and it didn't. So I went ahead and made one from paracord, which you don't have to make from paracord. You can make it from any string that's about a pretty good thickness to it. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make this. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. So stay tuned with us. Okay, guys. So you first want to start off with a either paracord, like I said, or some type of string, like shoestring, or something that's going to have a little thickness to it. I went ahead and took mine apart for you to start, to start from scratch. So what you need to do is, like I said, get a piece of string or a paracord or something of that nature and cut it down to about 14 or 18 inches from the middle here. So a total of about 36 to 40 inches long single strand. So from this end to this end needs to measure about 36 to 40 inches depending on how long you want it. Everyone's preference is different. But after you cut it, what you need to do is I'd say go ahead and burn the ends a little bit. That way they don't fray. I got this one. Um, I adjusted this one because I was messing around with one of my hunting knives. That way it could fit through the uh, handle of my knife. But anyway, just go ahead and burn the ends like so. And then what we're going to do is uh, make two slip knots. Now, this lanyard is only going to be for one call. Now, uh, if somebody requested, I can make another video showing how to attach more calls to this lanyard. But for right now, I'm just going to attach one call to it. And usually most calls have that groove for a lanyard. So, Alrighty, so we're going to start doing the knot here. I'm going to go ahead and pull a little bit down the string. And what you want to do is bring it down like that you're kind of like making a noose type deal and you're gonna overlap it once and then what you're gonna do if you just see my hands here you're going to bring it over the whole tire you get enough here you're gonna bring it over in the entire loops you made then you're going to run it back through and it'll slip together like a fishing knot. And you just grab it and then it'll tighten itself up. And it's, it clenches to itself. Pretty simple. And all you do is just get that knot nice and tight, however tight you need to get it or adjust it. I like mine where the, the end barely sticks out the knot. And that way you get a little extra string now you just pull it tight like that and this part slides you can adjust it we'll go ahead and do this other end I'm gonna do this a little bit faster up a little bit there we go now all you do is pretty simple grab your call put your uh, loop over it tighten it down make sure it's nice and tight and snug that knot could be tightened up a little bit but then you take your other loop and run it through it like that and once you get down to about your call I give, uh, I let the call have about a single strand of string for about four or five inches. That way you can just grab it off your neck like so. And then you tighten this down and you're good to go. You have a lanyard. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making this. Like I said, it's a pretty easy to make simple method. Now you just grab your call and just start 
and you're good to go. And like I said, you make sure this thing's, you know, crimp it on there really good and it won't go anywhere. And you have a nicely made uh, single call lanyard and you're set for hunting now. Appreciate your guys' views. Appreciate you guys watching my channel. Thank you very much and I hope you guys have a good day. Uh, again, thanks for watching.